Hello the internet, Tough Monkey here once again, hope that you're all well, thank you very much for stopping by. Okay, update 1.40 has given us some more license to do, and if you've got this far requiring your super license masters, well done, you don't really need my help. I think that the previous licenses, the National A to International A, were harder than these super licenses versions of the masters. Look at that, I started at 5.23 and I'd finished by 6.58. See, I don't think they're that difficult, and I'm a Muppet. You can do this without me. But, while we're here, let's do a corner by corner guide. So here we are on the final Master's License. Well done for getting this far, and we're in the glorious McLaren MP44 at Suzuka. All we're looking to do here is get a good exit after the final corner. Don't let it run too wide, keep the car under control, and off we go. Remember in the Porsche 917, it took me 20, 30 goes to get the Super License previously. In this, third go. You should be able to do it as well. So here we go, into the first corner. We're just lifting off a little bit and then standing on the brake, letting the car run out wide. And I'm gonna keep a mid-corner entry into here. And then I'm gonna square the corner off. Car's trying to kick out on me. It's got plenty of turbo, this car has. We're just gonna try and keep it under control. We're trying to straight line the center S's as much as we can. So we're taking lots and lots of curb. Just try and keep the car under control. The revs reasonably high cutting that corner again and then we're getting into the faster section here we're just going to keep mid corner and then square the corner off as we exit to try and keep on the right hand side of the track and this is where the speed's going to start to increase but we've got to be patient as we come around this left hander too early you can wash out onto the gravel on the right hand side so all we're doing now is building the speed up ready for degna one and degna two the first of these two right-handers is full-on commitment. We're breaking just after the 100 metre board, monstering the kerb and letting the car run out to the left-hand side of the circuit. Don't go too wide onto the whatever the heck that is, that artificial grass over there. Take lots of kerb into Degna 2 and let the car run out to the left-hand side of the track. Watch the turbo boost as it kicks in. It'll kick the back end out if you're not too careful. Then we're heading for the hairpin bend. So we need to be on the right-hand side of the track and I'm braking here right at the end of the red and white kerbing. Keep a high line as we turn in in first gear to rotate the back end of the car. Then up to second as we start to accelerate out of the corner patience on exit because the car will want to snap on you not much to do around this long right hander except keep a reasonably tight line and not let the car get out on the marbles on the left hand side we come up to spoon corner now so we're keeping on the right hand side of the track and we're braking around about 80 meters hard braking swing the car in left and let the car run out wide here it's a double apex corner so we've got a high entry into the second part of this corner starting to square it off and being patient on the throttle the car may want to snap on you if you don't have any traction control now we're just powering up the hill up to 130 r at the top of the hill this is a full speed left hander fully committed you just got to pick a turning point try to stay off the curb on the left hand side it might unsettle the car but it's full speed that corner then we're standing on the brakes just before the 150 meter board just going trying to keep the car under control turning right i could have gone a bit more over the curb but just trying to square it off and get a good entry through this corner to get a good solid exit keep the car under control keep that back end from sliding keep the front end from sliding out into the gravel and then it's just flat out to the line there and that was my third attempt. It really isn't that difficult. So let's watch it again without me talking and I'll see you at the end.
So there we go, gold on the third attempt. It really wasn't anything like as difficult as I was expecting it to be, certainly given how difficult the Porsche 917 was in the previous Super License. What do you think? Did you find that easy or did you find it difficult? Let me know in the comments below. But there we go, I hope these videos have helped you out in some way towards getting that gold trophy. If you haven't already, do check out my previous videos regarding all the other 9 Supermaster licenses. My YouTube channel is not about showcasing talent, it's about tutorials, guides and reviews and showing what the average pleb like me can do. Anyway, I'll see you next time.